Hey guys, Biscuits here from Biscuits Told to War, giving you a 2 versus 2 online commentary. Uh, this time I'm playing alongside uh, Beast from the Titans clan. And I have brought, as you can see here, the Macedonians. And Beast over here, he has brought the, the Greek factions. So the plan was we're going to do a bit of practice using pikes. I'm going to fight against two Roman factions here. So we've got the, the Senate and we've got the Scipii here. Now on paper, uh, the Romans should be able to beat the Pike factions, but if you use the Pikes correctly, um, if played well, and if you can try and capitalize on the opposition's mistakes, hopefully sometimes you can bring home a victory. So uh, what I've brought today, I put six companion cav, three Cretans, and then 11 Royal Pikes. Now I made a bit of a blunder here when I was doing my formation, um, one of my roll pikes I should have actually stuck in the front as a peeler screen. Um, I must have been talking to Beast at the time whilst I was doing my formation and it totally slipped my mind. Uh, because one of the pikes that I've got, I've got no upgrades and that was going to act as my peeler screen. But I've stupidly put them somewhere. I think I've put them here. Yeah, my, um, my peeler screen pike unit was this one. It should be at the front. But hey... You make mistakes, my mistake. And if we have a look at Beast's formation, what he's brought today, he's brought majority Spartans uh, to try and attack the uh, the Romans. And if you look at the upgrades, all of them look like to be um, gold attack by these two, which are gold gold. And because he's gone for those two gold gold, uh, he's got a few bit of money left over and he's used that to get some uh, Cretans and he's got three gold attack Cretans. So the plan is, I'm going to try and block with my pikes. My pikes can't really attack, but they're good at blocking. So I'm going to try and block them whilst the Greeks attack. And whilst they're attacking, I'm going to use our Cretans to try and lower the morale and keep them close to our pikes just to make sure they're protected. With my uh, six companion cav, I'm going to try and use that to actually take out both the um, Senate and the, the Skippy I Cav. Again, that's the plan. Doesn't always go to plan, but that's what the, the opposite plan was. Um, now, the Companion Cav are really good. Uh, they're not as good as Praetorian Cav, but I've got a few upgrades on my Companion Cav, and I'm banking that these guys are only going to bring maybe two or three Cav units because there's no point in them bringing six Cav units each because they're going against the Pikes. They may as well bring. Um, extra infantry or maybe some extra archers to attack our cav to attack our pikes. Um, so, if we look at the, the formation that Beast has got, he's taken uh, two of his Spartans to use them act as a peeler screen to protect them against the peeler, which is going to be devastating against our pikes. So, we're going up against Polish Legion and Koda of the Heaven Clan. Now Polish Legion's brought six Praetorian Cav. I'm not sure why he's brought us so many. Um, because we really weren't going to have that much Cav. Code has brought two Praetorian Cav and used the rest of his money for infantry. Which will be uh, probably a good idea. Especially when you're playing against pikes. So I'm going to run my guys down here as you can see. Where my little cursor is. And I'm going to try and stall Coda. And then get my cav to come around the side here. Because I'm hoping with my cav, I should be able to take out these two Praetorian cav. Now, as you can see, I made the mistake by not having a peeler screen. When I say a peeler screen, it's basically a unit in loose formation in front of the rest. My guys are going to get absolutely chewed up by all of this peeler. We just check out all of the, the peeler being thrown. All going into my guys here. So I've charged my cabin. Sent in a couple here. I've smacked into the side. That's caused them to rout. And Code has peeled them away. I'm now going to peel back my cav. And let. Um, Skippy I come to me. And then once he's kind of all got bunched up a bit. Like he's doing at the moment. Now I'm going to swing my cav around here. Here and here, so I've got a lot of surface area attacking his Praetorian Cav. I'm then going to switch on to alt attack 
and then use the flame attack for my arrows to uh, lower them around. See, so there's a bit of a churning up fight going on here, and there we go. I've managed to finally route the Skippy Eye Cav. It's going to chase them down for a bit. Over on this side here, you can see my guys holding the line against all of these urbans. Now, because I've lost so much guys due to their peeler, there are little gaps in between my formations, and that's where these urbans have managed to come in. I'm pressing the backspace button now just to try and get my pikes down and try and keep these urbans at distance. Over here you can see I've attacked the last, another one of uh, Coda's cav. And I'm going to bring my cav back here to support the rest of my guys. I'm moving these second and third row of Royal Pikemen just to try and plug the gaps. Again it's just really a case of putting my guys into guard mode and just trying to hold the line. I'm not going to get many kills with these pikes. I'm just going to try and hold them. And then in comes Titans. He's got his guys here to aggressively push forward. I'm going to get these two pikes which are here and probably swing them around this flank. So it looks like we've pretty much di 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 diluted, diluted um, taken out most of the opposition's cav. Coda's going to come in and try and charge down one of my Cretans, which is okay. He's going to chase my Cretans down, and as he chases them down, he's going to get shot by these archers. Over here, I've just charged my companions in, just to try and get rid of those last few Skippy Eye Cav units. So he's charging towards me, and now I'm going to turn my guys around, hopefully in a second and get those. In the meantime I've charged in one of my or two of my companion calves just to try and free up this little flank here. What I should really do is get these guys around here as soon as possible. But what I should have done, I should have pulled them back and then run them around here rather than just clicking to go over there. Because these guys are going to try and run through all of these opposition. There we go, as you can see, he's contemplating and trying to flank around the side here. So I'm going to pull back my cav. And these guys are going to get into a nice little L shape here. Now this is a bit of a, a duff move by myself, I've charged my cav in. I've charged them in here, but it's quite a risky thing to do that because I've got all of these units all around me. The roll falling, chuck and peeler, and as you can see, some of my units have actually routed. So they've run off. A bit of a silly move on my behalf there. In the meantime, Beast is pushing forward. Uh, if I can see, where is he pushing forward? Here he's pushing forward here with his pikes, with his general, and he should be able to uh, slowly just munch his way through these units here. And it looks like we've now finally taken out all of the, the cav on the opposition. So we now have flexibility to run our archers around the back here and shoot the backs of all these urbans. I've pulled my cav here. Now what I have noticed is that my general and beast's general is over this side. But Polish's general is over on this side on his own. So hopefully what I can do, I can do a hammer and anvil at some stage to try and route this general but before I do that hammer and anvil I need to wait for this general to actually push forward and get snagged upon these pikes. So I'm going to send my cav in here just to try and free up these little uh, these uh, roll pikes as you can see they're about to come in here and I should cause a little rout there we go, and I'm going to try and pull them back. I was getting a bit worried about this flank here, that they might be able to break through the gap between these two roll pikes. So I'm going to pull back my cav. And again, if we look over here, it looks like Polish Legion is now starting to engage his infantry. So now that he started to engage his infantry, that's really my cue now to move my cav over onto this side. 
because if I get my cav over here and do a little charge it should cause a lot of damage because all of these infantry units are now engaged on these pikes. In the meantime Beast has pulled his archers around the side. As I said now that the opposition haven't got any cav we can afford to get our archers around the side and take flank shots at the back of all these units. And he switched to flame mode which is going to be lowering the morale to all of these units. And now swinging my cav here. Now if you look at the numbers, up, one's got seven, one's got seven, three and nine. So three, seven, nine. I've only got a few little cav units left. They are very tired so they're going to be quite low. I'm just going to wait there for about literally two moments, get into a formation and then any time now I'm going to charge in. Here we go. So I'm charging in, aiming for the general units here. So that's going to come charging straight in and that's going to cause one, two, three units here to rout. The general unit is still there but the devastation has been done. The damage has been done. It's so now that these Spartans can now turn around and face these urbans here. I'll charge in my cav here. At this stage now my numbers are really down, really depleted, down to 4-2. So I'm just going to charge them out, get them away and their companion cav are pretty much, there's nothing much they can really do. But at this stage we've won the battle. Um, we've won this little flank fight here, we won this flank fight here. There's a few units in the centre and now we can just literally surround and kill them all really. And whilst this is going on, the archers they are just shooting at these uh, stragglers that are running off the battlefield. My companion cav, well I'm down to now four horses so they're just going to probably get a couple of kills, kill these units here. But they're out and now it's just a case of finishing off Coda's general. He's, where is he? He's around here somewhere. But he's now dead. And now he's going to start to route probably any time now. There we go. He's dead. So that's it guys. Um, that's a little 2 versus 2. Showing you Pikes versus Romans. And it can be done. Um, well played to Beast. Uh, Beast played really well. Uh, well done to Koda and well done to Polish Legion. I think they might have done better if they brought less cav and maybe they brought um, some archers to try and attack my companion cav. Uh, but it was uh, really well played um, on everybody's behalf there. I've gotten about a thousand kills. The majority of my kills are from my companion cav. I got a lot of uh, casualties with my pikes. My pikes are just absolutely cut to death with all of those um, Peeler. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, something new, uh, well, something new, something different compares to Rome versus Rome or 4 versus 4. Shows you uh, the team play and how that can really be beneficial if you really work together. Uh, so, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the video, leave a little thumbs up. Uh, please leave a comment. Always love to hear what you say, what you're thinking, even. And if you haven't checked out some of my earlier videos, please go down and check out some of the other videos. I've got tactics and tips, I've got tutorial videos and a little campaign that's about to come to an end. So this is Biscuits signing off, wishing you all the best and uh, thanks so much for your time. Bye now.